Okay, so we're back in the shop and uh, I've been looking at this tool for a while, steel brand tool, but um, let's take a look at this and see how this works. It, it seems to work really well and I've watched some other videos of people using this and um, they're really happy with it. It actually possibly cuts better than the factory, um, factory sharpen chain. I don't know that that's possible but we'll see. So we're working on that. I'm making five passes with this uh, on each tooth and uh, we'll see what what happens. This is my first time actually putting the saw in the vise and sharpening it this way. This works really good. Looks like last time I sharpened it my angle was slightly off compared to this angle. It works really good. You just kind of got to get your, your movement down. It's definitely easier than all these other little gadgets and gizmos that they got to me. Now it may not be the best if you're hiking around with a chainsaw, but I usually got some kind of vehicle that we're running. <clears throat> and I could see how it's pretty quick you could get a pretty good edge back on your chain. You were just get it in the dirt or hit something hard. So I've got one more chain I need to sharpen. So this chain is in much worse shape. This is my <coughs> little go-to saw. It's light and uh, easy, easy to maneuver. So this thing is working really sweet. Cutting that gauge down and getting a nice clean angle. Uh, sometimes on the single ones it's very hard. With this, and you have the dual angles, so when you're when you're coming across the the bar, you can um, get you get a much better idea because you can watch your bar parallel to the two handles and also the gauge lines it works um, pretty well nice and smooth and obviously if you could do this a lot faster. This really makes this sharpening takes most of the guesswork out. All you gotta do is keep it at 90 degrees to the bar. At 90 here this way and 30 degrees which you kinda have that angle so already set. So once you get a couple of bars done you could be really you could be a professional sharpener and you just throw your chain up your saw up here in the vise and uh, and you're good to go 16 inch great pitch chain and uh, we're just going to run this on one side and we'll just see exactly um, where we're, uh, how it works. So let's see, here we go. <laughs> All 
probably only need five strokes, but I haven't filed the depth gauge down, so I'm going to give them ten. That one's been filed, so let's say, what was that, um, six minutes? I did that whole side in, in six minutes, so uh, that's that's pretty good. And, not, yeah, I'm sure you could do it faster with the single uh, file, round file, but I did the uh, gauge and the teeth, and they're fairly accurate with the angle. So I'm sure if you're a professional, you know, you probably could could do it pretty good. But from what I've seen, this is very close to a factory um, edge, and it's going to cut really good. But we'll test it out um, and see, see how it does. So, all right, let's go check it out. Uh -huh. 